The M23 rebel group was one of those fighting the government of then Democratic Republic of Congo President Joseph Kabila. Their stronghold was centered in North Chivu, near the borders of Uganda and Rwanda. However, by 2013, it was evident the group had weakened due to the ruthless attacks from the government army with many fleeing over the borders into Rwanda and Uganda. Now, after nearly five years in Uganda, the 57 former combatants and 10 dependents have decided to return home. The ambassador for special duties in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Robert Masolo, handed the group to DRC's ambassador to Uganda, Jean-Pierre Masala. So those people that accept themselves voluntarily to go back home, this is a good sign. And to this is, we want to tell the one remaining in the camp to make the decision now to come to the country because we want to build the country alone. That even those who may not be in the camp, once they see their friends willing, they're going back home. They will, some have committed the crimes, of course, and are in jail. So, uh, but the good news is that we are now witnessing big numbers uh, accepting to go back home voluntarily. According to Ambassador Masolo, the repatriation will further strengthen ties between Uganda and the DRC. Having ex-fighters uh, in the region, in countries which are not their own, is a security matter. So when we see them going back to their country, it's a positive. It's a positive in terms of stability for the region. And that's what our president is focusing on. That's our, what our leaders are interested in, stability of the Great Lakes region. The repatriation is part of the implementation of the 2013 Addis Ababa Peace Agreement and follow-up mechanism on former combatants established under the 8th Regional Oversight Mechanism Summit. Ali Mivole, NTV. Okay.